Good morning. This is All India Radio Kohima. The morning news are read by Jonas Siantan. Prime Minister Narendra Modi stressed that India's best young officers should be posted at aspirational districts to bring about noticeable changes through their creative thinking and fresh ideas. He said this while chairing the three-day-long National Conference of Chief Secretaries yesterday at Taram Shala in Himachal Pradesh. Loading the success of the Aspirational Districts program, the Prime Minister said the government should strive to make these the Inspirational Districts of India and extend the program to the block and city levels. He said the experience gained by them while working in these districts would be unparalleled and prove useful for the entire country. Speaking on education, the Prime Minister said that teachers' training can be strengthened by leveraging digital technology and learning mobile apps. The first-of-its-kind conference is being held as an exercise towards strengthening the partnership between the centre and the states to build a shared vision for Amrit Kaal. All the states and union territories actively participated. Flagged concerns highlighted best practices and suggested possible solution in every session. National DP Elimination Program (NTEP) conducted its first quarter review meeting yesterday at Directorate of Health and Family Welfare, Kohima, delivering a presentation on state performance. WHO medical consultant Dr. Collins Z. Sono said. As per the district-wise DP score for the state of Nagaland for the first quarter January to March 2022, which is based on nine indicators, success rate, UDSD, notification rate, HIV known status, Kifre district stood first with 90 marks, followed by Mugukchung district, 84 marks, and third backed by Mon district with 80 marks, while Twensang district is the worst performing district. He said Gifre district has screened more than 3,000 presumptive DP, followed by Longling district, screening more than 2,000 in the first quarter. He also said from first quarter, notification achievement is 87%, wherein districts like Dimapu, Gifre and Mon have achieved it whereas Beren, Peck and Twensang districts needed to increase notification achievement. Dr. Sono said success rate is 83% and HIV known status for DP patients is 96%. Meanwhile, Mission Director National Health Mission Dr. Torhose Katiri appreciated NTEP for conducting the review meeting and encouraged all to strive harder to achieve the program's targets indicators. The central government has decided to extend the upper age limit for Agnipat scheme from 21 to 23 years. However, the entry age remains fixed at 17 and a half years. A press release from PRO Defence Kohima stated that cognizance of the fact that it has not been possible to undertake the recruitment during the last two years, the government has decided that a one-time waiver shall be granted for the proposed recruitment cycle for 2022. Accordingly, the upper age limit for recruitment process for Agnipat scheme for 2022 is increased to 23 years. Court of Special Judge Pokso Act Peg has sentenced a 30-year-old man identified as Kunungoi Meto to 20 years rigorous imprisonment for the rape and aggravated sexual assault of a minor girl which occurred in Chazuba Peg on September 21, 2021. The judgment was pronounced by the Court of Special Judge Pokso Act Peg Mezuvolo T. Terrier yesterday. The court sentenced the accused to rigorous imprisonment for a term of 20 years and a fine of 5,000 rupees. It also directed that in default of payment of fine, the accused shall further undergo simple imprisonment for a term of one year. The accused was also sentenced for commission of sexual assault upon the girl child victim by outraging her modesty under Section 354 of the IPC to a period of simple imprisonment of one year and a fine of 500 rupees or in default of the payment of fine, simple imprisonment of two months. Also for commission of sexual harassment upon the girl child victim, the accused was sentenced to simple imprisonment for a term of six months and a fine of 100 rupees or in default of the payment of fine, simple imprisonment of one month. The judge ordered that the jail sentences should run concurrently 
and out to the total fine amount of 5,600 rupees deposited by the accused, 5,000 rupees should be immediately paid to the victim. That is all we have in this morning news bulletin. Have a good day.